please give a big, rousing welcome to Mr. Taylor Mason. Nice job. All right. This is great. Thanks for letting me be a part of your evening, and I, I just love the game show. That was so great. Uh, my name is Taylor Mason. Thank you. All right. You don't care. I'm glad to be here. I'm just thrilled to be in Apopka, Florida. Woohoo! Yes. Yes, sir. The gateway to Winter Haven. <laughs> right? Isn't that what it says on the sign? Welcome to Apopka, gateway to Winter Haven. So, you and me, babe. Uh, retirees everywhere, good. I'm glad to see you guys here. Uh, let's see. I flew into Apopka International. <laughs> that is a small airport, boy. Apopka, you've seen that little airport they've got? You see it from 10,000 feet, you land, it's the same size. That is a small airport. <laughs> ah, but I'm glad to be with you guys, glad to be here this evening. Uh, let's get a whole bunch of things out of the way right away. I am a comedian who's a Christian. I'm not a Christian comedian. What's the difference? Well, for one, I'm not going to be selling anything as you walk out after the program tonight. <laughs> that's not a judgment, that's not a judgment. All right, let's get that out of the way right away. Second, I'm, from the, I'm born and raised in the Midwest. Any Midwestern people here by any chance? All, by, all right, settle down. I know, it's warm. Oh, I know. You know, it's different in the Midwest right now. Actually, it was 70 degrees here in Florida. There were people, oh, you know, which is just really makes me so angry. And I live in New Jersey now. Any Jersey people here? Amen. Good for you. All right. New Jersey is the only state in America where we use air freshener outdoors, so. <laughs> Why do I live there? I paved my way into heaven by moving my wife within two minutes of her mother. So, that works for all religions, by the way. All right, so. Oh, what a good audience we've got. I'm so glad you guys came to the show because it's so hard to make the chairs laugh. So, and I've, I've had to do that many, many times in my career. Um, I'm glad to be with people who are service people. I'm glad, uh, and I don't mean, I, although I know there are people in the service business here. Where are the service people here this evening? I'm talking military, police, uh, EMS, all that. If you're service people, give them a big round of applause. Yes, I know you're here. Sir, yes. And I bring that up because service has gone downhill so fast. Let's be honest with each other. Service is just a nightmare now. You know it is. I'm glad to be with you guys in a place that reveres service. It is about service because... And I'll give you an example. I will give you examples. I'm in Rome at the airport, and there's an Armani, Giorgio Armani store. They've got clothing there that is incredible. And my wife is always after me to wear better duds. So I get back to New Jersey, Cherry Hill Mall. I'm in the mall, and there it is, Armani. Whoa. Kismet. I'm going to go buy myself some clothes. I'm in there two minutes. I wrote their slogan, Welcome to Armani, where your money becomes our money. And this little man is measuring my inseam. You know, he looked like Super Mario, and he's measuring my inseam, which was really upsetting because I was buying a tie. <laughs> and it turned out the guy didn't even work there. It was just some clown that had wandered in out of the mall. But that's where we're at now. And at the airport today, I went to get a smoothie. This is where we're at. And I'm just so upset. I'm so glad I can share this with you because it's so upsetting. I went to get a smoothie. I'm in the smoothie store with one other person. One other person. He's in front of me. He gets to the counter, and the girl behind the counter says to him, and I'm quoting, uh -huh, uh -huh. and he didn't understand her because it wasn't English or any other language. And he said, excuse me. She says it again. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And the poor man, very gracious man, Asian man, he said, I didn't understand you. Then she got mad at him. Can I help you? You know, he's, he's taken aback. I was taken aback. Well, this is service. And he orders his smoothie. She says, give me your name. I'll write it in the cup so I remember who you are. There were two of us in the store. <laughs> so he says, my name is Chi. She says, what? Chi, spell it. And he spells it for you. C-H-E-E. -E. She goes, stand over there, Mr. Chi. Now it's my turn. I'm still reeling from the inseam incident, okay? She gives me the same thing. Uh -huh. So I said, yeah. I want to order a smoothie. 
But then she goes, what flavor? Ah! You know, she's one-upping me. She can do it better. Ah, oh, it's so upsetting. But I order my smoothie. And then she gives me, this is where we're at. She gives me the same thing. Give me your name. I'll write it in the cup so I'll remember who you are. So I said, my name is Chi. And she looked at me the way the dog looks at our kids when they're holding a cookie. I said, yeah, I'll spell it for you. C-H-E-E, Chi. She goes, are you Asian? Yes, I am. I'm going to go stand with my brother right over here. That's where we're at now. I'm standing out in front of the smoothie store. I've got my smoothie. I'm minding my own business. I get this a lot. I get this all the time. A guy comes up to me and says, Kevin, excuse me, are you Kevin? No, I'm not Kevin. Oh, he's all mad. He runs into the smoothie store. I turn to leave, minding my own business. I turn to leave. Another guy out of the blue comes up, Ian. So I said, Kevin. And he goes, yeah. I said, he's inside. He's waiting for you. I think he's mad. So... We gotta help each other out. We gotta work together. Let's face it, the world, we are so divided right now. There is so much hatred and anger. That's why I'm glad with you, I'm with you guys. Because there's just so much anger. It's how we deal with it too. I'm so glad I can get this off my chest. This is how I deal with everything. I'm in my car, I drive a Kia. All right, it's a three cylinder, auto, three -cylinder automobile, the Kia. You could not kill somebody with a Kia. You could maybe nudge someone to death. A Kia. You can sit in the front seat of the Kia and touch every window in the car all the way. The Kia. You go into a puddle, you sink. It's an awful car. It's an awful car. You're on the turnpike, swerve back and forth. You never leave your own lane in the Kia. But I get cut off by a guy in a Hummer, and I don't begrudge anybody in this world anything. You got a Hummer? You earned it. You want it. I don't begrudge you a thing. You got your Hummer. I used to say... Hummers, phew, how ostentatious. But then my neighbor got a Hummer. I was walking by his house, and I looked in the grill in the front. It's not really a grill on the Hummer. It's a cage, and there was a little environmentalist in there on a bicycle. And I thought, oh, how good is that? Anyway, this guy in the Hummer cuts me off. He cut me off. I'm in a Kia. He could turn on his windshield wiper and throw me, jettison me across the... <laughs> Then he cuts off this little old lady, the cliche in the 1998 Malibu, can't see over the dashboard, can't see the hood ornament, you know. He cuts her off, scares her to death. She and I make eye contact. I go, oh yeah, I saw that. Now I follow Hummer Boy in this giant, you know, monster vehicle, pull in to a handicapped parking spot. Yes. And then he jumps out of the Hummer. He jump. what is that, 60 feet? He parachutes out of the Hummer and runs into the mall. So I wrote him a note. I'm so glad I can share this. I was livid. Dear sir, I was so angry. If you take a disabled person's parking spot, then you better also take their disability. Yeah, it took me almost an hour and a half to write that with the edge of my key in the hood of the Hummer. What? Well, you got to take a stand somewhere, right? You got to take a stand. I really am from born and raised in the great state of Illinois. My family, yeah, Illini, Grand Ridge, Illinois. I know you know where that is. A little farming community. I don't like Halloween. I've never liked Halloween. I grew up on a farm in the Midwest. You're in the middle of nowhere. Our closest neighbor when I was a kid, our closest neighbor, Mrs. Hallett, lived two miles down the road. I hate Halloween. Halloween was the longest night of the year when I was a kid. You're in this stupid costume, dressed up like a pirate. You know, you can barely move. You walk two miles, you get an M&M, and you walk home? What a stupid holiday this is. My brothers and I used to hide costumes behind this lady's house, and we'd just go around and around all night long.
rural America is so different, you know. Rural America, you'll be at church. I like what you wore last week better, you know. You get stuff like that. Everybody knows everything about everybody. You can't, undercover cop is impossible in Grand Ridge. What are you doing dressed up like a tree? Shh, you know, you can't get away with that there. I saw the birth of hip hop. I saw the birth of rap music, 1981. Grandma Mildred Mason has a livestock sale at the Mason farm. Hogs walking around. Farmers lined up against the barn. Guy from Chicago comes down with a microphone on the spot, invents hip hop. He comes out and says, hey, but all rights are open the gate and let him out. Walk him, boy, here, but he go now. What are you going to give? I got a $20 bid now, five. I got a $20 bid now, five. I got a $25 bid now, $30, $30, $30. give me $30, make a $30. Yo, I got my mind on my money and my money on my mind. <laughs> Sold. MC Calcella in the house. Never happened. Never happened. I make that up. I make up a lot of stuff. <laughs> You grew up on a farm, you make up a lot of stuff, driving around, picking weeds in a milkweed field. Oh, oh, sorry, soybean field. Our field looked like milkweed. Anyway, my grandma taught me how to sew when I was 10 years old. Just, you know, every 10-year-old boy dreams of sewing. <laughs> some kids want to be Tom Brady, you know. Some kids want to be, I don't know, Stephon Curry. Me, I wanted to be able to do stitches, hems, seams. We'll be able to work with a... What are you laughing at, lady? What are you laughing at? Yeah, go ahead and laugh, lady. I can work with a Singer 440 in the treadle, okay? So I've got skills that'll keep me in the middle income range for as long as I'm on this earth. I grew up on a pig farm. Grandma, and the truth of this is, the first puppets that my grandma and I made were at a J.C. Penney in downtown Otto, Illinois, the city. Yeah. Grandma worked at J.C. Penney with my cousins, Evelyn and Grace. They ran a little sewing mafia, you know, <laughs> in the back. And Grandma made a sock puppet with me of a pig, and I've carried that on through my life. This is my friend Paco. He's not just a pig. This is also my attorney. Now, <laughs> don't be insulted. I'm not saying that all pigs are counselors at law. That was not my point. <laughs> I know it's a politically correct age we're living in. The last thing I want to do is make anybody believe that all swine are also attorneys. That is not my point. I'm just saying this one happens to be a lawyer. Hola, hola. His name is Paco. Cono esta, senor? Let's not go there, okay? Donde esta, senor? Paco, si. Let's not go there. Taco, tico, rico, chico. Paco? Entiendo, rico. Paco, si. I do not speak Spanish. You don't? No. That I do? Yes. <laughs> you don't think that's a little weird? No, I don't. <laughs> Let's do our thing. Gracias, senor. Thank you. Can we just do our thing? It's a good crowd. It's a very good crowd. Is it women? There are women. Hola. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Paco and I have been together for many, many years. Is it a nice crowd, senor? We're in Florida. I'm going to die. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. They're very friendly. They're hungry. No, they're not. <laughs> you don't know that. Look at them. What? They're salivating. Come on. <laughs> Is it good crowd? They're very nice people. We're in Florida. Who are your favorite people in all of Florida? The Jewish people. The Jewish people, they leave me alone. Okay, all right, all right. Unlike the Christians. All right! <laughs> Look at them. Okay. They see me as a walking, talking sausage. Okay. <laughs> all right. That was not meant to be some sort of ethnic slur. All right, Paco doesn't even know what political correctness is. See, si, I do, senor. Then you wouldn't have said something like that. As a rule, this is the only point we're making. As a rule, Jewish people do not eat pork. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, okay. <laughs> I love all the nation, senor. Okay, whatever. We're in Florida. Are you enjoying Florida? No. What's wrong with Florida? Football. 
What's wrong with football? They love football in Florida. And I thought, there is a football. <laughs> the Jacksonville Jaguars keep dropping him and 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 throwing him to the other team. Okay. They stink. Okay, man. That is not what this night is about. You know, Florida is an amazing state down in the southern tip of the United States. It's a multicultural bastion for all sorts of people. Really? South America, hola. The Caribbean, hola. Cuba, hola. Okay. <laughs> Europe, hola. Canada, oh Canada. Come on, man. <laughs> The United States? Oh, no. <laughs> what else don't you like about the United States? Lord, the cue. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right. I'm going to set you down right here in front. Can you stand here? I think so. What are you going to do? I am going to stare at this man. <laughs> I know, it is so uncomfortable, isn't it? And there's nothing you can do, he's just staring at you, and everybody's looking at you, watching you stare at the pig who's staring at you, and there's nothing you can do, it's really uncomfortable. It's really annoying too, isn't it? I know. Don't get the wrong idea, my family really does, or at one time at least, before the hog condo revolution of the 1990s, um, my family raised hogs, a, bear to get, a birth to slaughter hog operation. So the pigs come naturally. Come here. Come here. This is my buddy Ramon. Where are we? We're in Florida. We're going to die. No, we're not. Are they nice? They're very nice. They look hungry. No, they're not. This is Ramon, everybody. Are we good? We're good. Where's Taco? He's on the floor. What are you doing? I'm staring at the man. He won't wave back. Okay, all right. He did wave back. Oh my gosh. Okay, awesome. Thank you, sir. I didn't see you in the car. I wasn't in the car. Oh, Ramon, how did you get here? On my bike. On your bike. That's adorable. You have a tricycle? No. A Schwinn? No. What kind of bike do you have? A Harley. A what? A Harley. A Harley Davidson motorcycle? It's a hog. Get out of here, get out. <laughs> Am I naked? Yep. <laughs> okay, all right. You know, you can laugh at that if you want to. It'd be weird if the pig was wearing clothing. It would? Yes, so you're fine. Really? Yes, do you have a job? I do. Awesome. What do you do? I'm the bank. Oh. <laughs> You're a bank, a branch bank. A branch bank. Mm -hmm. A naked biker banker. Okay, whatever, whatever. <laughs> I'll get you a loan. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to work together. We are going to work in a world that's come apart the way this one has. We can work together, my friends. In this planet, in this world, in this country, no matter how bad things are, we can figure out a way to come together and work together. And tonight, for your enjoyment, we're going to show you how to, how to do it. Who is you and me and Paco? What are we going to do? We're going to work together. I'm a banker. I know that. I don't work. Okay, all right. <laughs> that was a mean joke. You wrote it. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> I need you to get up on top of Paco and pull him on my hand. What? He can't talk right now. How come? He's a puppet. What? He's a puppet. You're kidding. No. <laughs> He's so real. I know that. I need you to jump up on top of him and pull him on my hand. What? I need you to jump up on top of him and pull him on my hand. That's disgusting. Well, it's not. <laughs> it might be illegal. Get up there, get up there. Pull him on my hand, pull him all the way on. Pull, pull him on my hand. This is so awkward. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my gosh.
do you mind? Do you mind? Can we do our thing? Hola, Ramon. Hello, Taco. We're going to work together tonight. Who is, senor? Who do you think? I don't know. You, me, Ramon. Hey, Taco. Hola, Ramon. We're going to work together, the three of us. Just like the three little tigs. What? We're just like the three little tigs. I'm the tig. I'm the tig. <laughs> I'm not. Are you sure? Oh, stop it. Stop it. Here we go. We're going to sing a song. Who starts? I do. Here we go. When? Right now. When do you think? Who starts? I do. When? Right now. What are we doing? We're singing a song. Who's first? I'm first. You? Yep. Not me. Not you. Not him. Not him. Who? Me. When? Right now. What are we doing? We're singing a song. <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> do that for me. <clears throat> It's not even part of the show. Do that for me. Uh -huh. Okay. They didn't get that joke. That's okay. We're gonna die. No, we're not. You need deodorant. Okay, all right. <sighs> a wada and chew, a wada and chew. What do I do? No, you do what we do. It's called call and response. Listen and repeat. Watch. A wada and chew, a wada and chew. What do I do? Come on, Ramon. Get with it. A wada and chew. A wada and chew. What do I do? Come on, Ramon. Wa dot and chew. Wa dot and chew. You can do it. Wa dot and chew. You did it. I did it. He did it. Here we go. A bodo skitty dot. A wada and chew. That's it. Here we go. Here we go. A bodo skitty dot. A wada and chew. A bodo skitty dot. A wada and chew. Well, it and it and little kitten. A bodo skitty dot. A wada and chew. It and it and little kitten. No, and boat and little boat and ski liodo. A bodo skitty dot. A wada and chew. A ski liodo. A bodo. You used to call me on your cell phone. No, we're not doing that. Let it go, let it go. No, we're not singing that either. I can't feel my face when I'm with you. Stop it! <laughs> a boat o's could eat a wad out and chew. Well, it and didn't, little kitten. No, 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 little boat. I'm a lawyer. You're an attorney. See. Si. But you're a pig. So? Pig says sue we. I say sue you. Please. <laughs> What? I'm gonna throw up. Oh, sorry. All right. A boat o's could eat a wad out and chew a little bit and little kitten. No, 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 little boat. they can taste like? Oh, oh. Oh, don't applaud for that. Don't applaud for that. You stand here. What are we going to do? We're going to stare at this man. Okay, fine. <laughs> oh, let's rock this joint tonight. Yeah. drummer with me. I see the drummer here has a problem of some sort and they've sequestered him behind the glass door. I don't know. But I need your help. Somebody help me out. Put your hands together. Give me a little back beat. Come on. Or a front beat. I don't care. That's good. Sing along. I'll teach you the words. I say yes I am. You say yes I am. I said, yes, I am. You say it. I said, yes, I am. I said, yes, I am. Say, yes, I am. That was really good. Somebody good. Then I walked up here. You're 
all say, who is this? My name is Taylor Mason, and I'm someone you can afford. Ah, yes I am, you say it. I said, yes I am. And I know when you guys walked in, I just know when you walked into this spectacular venue this evening, I know that somebody's husband Somebody's fiance or somebody's husband said, man, I love to sing. I sing with the choir. I sing in the car with pop music. I love to sing. I sure hope the comedian asks me to go on stage and sing with him tonight. Now, I don't know where that husband is or the fiance. Somebody could point him out to me, please. Someone could point that husband. That guy right there. That guy right there. My gosh, it looks like, it looks like Michael McDonald. Come on up here. Give him a round of applause. Come on up here. on the journey, on whose journey we do not make fun of people, we work together, right? We're going to help this man out, right? Say it with me, everybody say, yes I am, you say it. Yes I am. Okay. <laughs> you nailed it. Come, oh, you're not done, come over here, baby. Okay. Uh, we're going to rock this place. What is your name? Elvis. Elvis? <laughs> Uh, I'm <laughs> okay, Elvis. You haven't aged at all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. What is your name? Alan. Alan. Everybody say hi, Alan. You're a good sport to come up. You were nominated by a whole bunch of people sitting out there. Who are those people? I don't, I don't know. You don't know them? You're a liar as well. <laughs> My pants on fire. What? <laughs> it's still my show, Alan. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see a big ring on that finger. Are you married, man? Yeah. Good for you. Then you know the words. I'm going to teach them to you, and you're going to sing them. So stand right there. I'm going to teach you the words to this song. It's a married man's song. You'll know the words. You've heard them before. I just put them to a beat, and you're, I can tell you're going to rock. You're going to sing it with me right into this microphone, okay? The words go like this. It's easy. Take out the garbage, baby, go, go. I'm giving you like an Elvis thing here, all right? Take out the garbage, baby, go, go. Sing it with me. Take out the garbage, baby, go, go. Come on, Alan. Take out the garbage, baby, go, go. Do it again. Take out the garbage, baby, go, go. You don't even need me, man. Here, come over here. Stand, here. Stand right there. Okay. <laughs> this is your moment, baby. Take out the garbage, baby, go, go. Do it again. Take out the garbage, baby, go, go. Take out the garbage, baby, go, go. Keep going. Take out the garbage, baby, go, go. Alan, 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 take the microphone out of the stand. Oh. <laughs> yeah, now, okay. now sing it and shake it a little bit. Go. Shake it. Take out the garbage, baby, go, go. Do it again. Take out the garbage, baby, go, go. Take out the garbage, baby, go, go. Do it again. Take out the garbage, baby, go, go. Face, 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 face Take out way. the garbage, baby, go, go. Take out the garbage, baby, go, go. Take out the garbage, baby, go, go. <laughs> three more, three more, okay? <laughs> Elvis has left the building. <laughs> oh, we're going to have a good time in here tonight. Yes, I am. You say it. There's all ages here. Let's get some of the older folks involved. Hi, how are you? 
welcome to the Holiday Inn. Yes, I am. Yeah, I grew up playing the piano in a little tiny church. My piano teacher was Mrs. Randall, old school stride piano player at the Deer Park Memorial, First Baptist Congregational Methodist Lutheran, First Church of the Nazarene, Pentecostal synagogue and temple. When we went Catholic, we were Our Lady is a Tramp. <laughs> and my piano teacher was an old school stride. If you can play like this, you'll be the hit of every party. I got hit at every party. Now, pre-show, I don't know if you heard the music that they were playing here, but it was, it was incredible. It was all those songs from the 70s. And I'm, a, I'm kind of a 70s kid. In fact, when I was a kid practicing, my parents didn't know I'd play all these. My mom would poke her head out of the kitchen. What are you playing, honey? Oh, that's Chopin, Mom. When really it was... Listen to all those 70s songs, right? And like, um. Now, that, take that, juxtapose that with Mrs. Randall. And that'll mess you up. So, her favorite hymn was this old southern gospel hymn, also in the key of F. Okay, same beat, but, um. She played this at the 8 a.m. service. Well, only four people attended the 8 a.m. service. I don't know if you're familiar with church, but um, those early morning services are just too early to get up and meet with the Savior. So, you know, four people attended. They all related to me, all looked just like me. So um, she would play this. Well, and this is a perfect Im impression of Mrs. Randall, by the way. Well, it was. Early one morning before the break of day. Okay, so you got the idea, right? <laughs> My life was once filled with sorrow, so much sorrow and grief. All right, so one Sunday morning, she said, and now my favorite student, Taylor Mason, will play my favorite hymn, Worry No More. So I walked to the front of the church, four people leaned forward in their seats, you know, it's a big moment. And of course, she's, I grew up with a completely different thing. She's expecting, and you know, I've been listening to all this AM pop radio. So I went to the front of the church, sat down at the piano, and I played her song, Worry No More, but... Filled with sorrow, so much sorrow and grief until I let a savior into my heart. I just couldn't get any relief. Jealousy and fear followed me daily. Right there, Mrs. Randall had a heart attack. And that, you know, I love that kind of music. No, that's all right. the blues. I lived in Chicago for a little while, the home of the blues. I always wanted to be a blues musician, but I can't play the blues. Look at me. I'm happy. I'm so happy that this right here is the world's worst blues song. This is the world's worst blues song. Got a house in the suburbs. Got a beautiful wife. Got a happy little family. I love my life. I got the blues. I got the blues. 
got the happy blues, y'all. I got the life is a celebration, it's a jubilation. And I got Prozac blues. Speaking of the blues, I'm married. I've been married for almost a long time. My wife, she's a saint. She plays a little game with me every morning. It's called, guess what mood I'm in today. I have never won that game. They say love is blind, love is blind, love is blind, love is blind. That might be true, but marriage is an eye opener, my friends. I will give you an example. I try never to argue with my girl, because I'll lose. I'm a man. Man cannot win an argument with a woman. It's impossible. Because a man has the argument in the moment that it takes place. But a woman, she prepares. Oh yeah, she's done research. She's got videotape and audio tape. Girlfriend's got some eyewitnesses. Stuff I forgot I did in 2005. Man, she's got a drone. I should not make fun. We've been married for almost a long time. And we've got two kids, two beautiful kids. I love those kids. They always come to me, hey, Dad, Billy's father's a doctor. Tommy's dad's a lawyer. Abigail's father's an accountant. What do you do? I say, son, I make fun of those guys. <laughs> Valentine's Day, y'all. Valentine's Day comes around once a year. I always try to do something special for my girl. So this year I got her a big balloon, a giant balloon, said, Happy Valentine's Day, my love. I handed it to my wife. She said, Thank you, baby. You love me so much, you gave me a big floating bag of gas. She said, It's just like you, baby. be nice to my girl last year to celebrate our wedding anniversary. We've been married for a long time. I took her on a little trip. Just me and my girl, Nakia. <laughs> Loaded her up like it's a clown car. I drove and she slept. 14 hours, girl slept. She was tired. I know because she told me, she said, I'm tired. I said, why are you tired, girl? She said, what? <laughs> Nothing. I drove and she slept 14 hours to the United States, Canada border where I had what the, I had what the religious among you might refer to as an epiphany as if God himself came down and said, Taylor Mason, it is time to wake your wife in the way a comedian might wake his wife. Yeah, it was 3 o'clock in the morning. We were in a pitch black forest. 
So I pulled up in front of a tree and I hit the bright lights. And I said, honey, look out, look out, look out. Oh, no. We had an argument. Guess who won? Two cars in my drive, a big screen TV. I can't believe all the good things that keep on happening to me, people. I got the blues. I got the happy blues, y'all. And I'm so glad I can celebrate with you tonight in this journey we call life Blues. Uh, I've got all these skills to keep me in the middle income range for the rest of my life. I've got a lot of skills that have no application to real life. That's what I've got. I went to the University of Illinois in Champaign-Urbana. Some Illini here? Good for you. I learned nothing. I was there five years. I played college football. Any college football fans here by applause? Any college football fans? I played college football for the Fighting Illini for five years. Why five? I got redshirted. It means you get redshirted, you got hurt, so you got an extra year of eligibility. What that meant to me was an extra year to party. So, great. I played for the Fighting Illini. We won, I think, six games in my five years there, <laughs> which describes my career perfectly. Uh, I'm gonna give you some insight into me and my college football career and how it plays into tonight. When I was a fourth year senior, we were playing Ohio State, if you're not familiar. <laughs> if you're not familiar with, with Ohio State or fourth year seniors, uh, it's a Big Ten thing. Um, we're warming up before the game at home and the, they had stuck the Ohio State fans down in the end zone. The thing is that Ohio State drew probably as many people of their own as we had in our whole stadium and they're going crazy. Why? Because here comes Woody Hayes, the venerable, the incredible, the world famous, the incredible Woody Hayes. He's the only other person on the field my size. And he walks up to me, looks at me, <laughs> and then he sings with the Ohio State fans. He leads them in the alma mater. Okay, it's a moment. They're going out of their minds. He's their favorite. They can't believe their luck. There's Woody. He turns to leave. He and I make eye contact and he says this to me. You're a football player? <laughs> and he walks away. I immediately went down on my knees and said, dear God, please don't let me play in this game. Please don't let me play in this game. Please do not let me play in this I don't play, we lose by 30. All right, a year later, now I'm a fifth year senior. <laughs> We're at Ohio State, I'm in the game. We're down 20, 30, 40, doesn't matter. I'm chasing a kid named Demler. I push him out of bounds, and there on the Ohio State sideline, I'm not lying, there's Woody Hayes with the O hat, windbreaker, clipboard, white collar shirt. I see him, I look at him and I say, yeah, I am a Big Ten football player. I run back, he's cursing at me, he's screaming at me, stuff I've never heard, profanities that have not ever been used since. He is shouting at me as I run back onto the field. Game ends, we lose by 50. I'm running off the field. A defensive tackle from Ohio State comes over to me and he says, man, what did you say to coach? I've never seen him this crazy. I run to the locker room because I'm afraid he's gonna come after me. A month later, my dad and I are watching TV in the basement. Ohio State's on TV. They're playing in a bowl game against Clemson. The Clemson kid intercepts the ball and he's running down the sideline, gets pushed out of bounds. Woody Hayes jumps off the sideline and tackles the kid from Clemson. The coach tackles the kid. It's a huge moment in sports. Woody Hayes' career is over. He'll never be forgotten. He went nuts. What drove him nuts? The fighting line, a defensive lineman named Taylor Mason. I'm here to tell the story here tonight. <laughs> I learned nothing at the University of Illinois. I had a final exam in philosophy. For a final exam, the guy brought in a stool like this and he says, based upon what you've learned in philosophy, prove the stool does not exist. I wrote, what stool? <laughs> I got an A. I went to graduate school at Northwestern University near Chicago. That cost me about $100,000 in student loans. This is what I learned. Mm. 
I don't want to do this. So I'm here with you guys tonight. You know what I learned, man? I learned you can sell anything in America. That was my marketing, mar advertising was my, my degree. You can sell anything in America, anything. You could put gravy in an aerosol can, gravy in an aerosol can. You think it's crazy? You give it a nice package and the right name, there'll be people in the store. Hey, honey, look at this, Spravy. <laughs> the kids will eat that, $3.99. All right, so. <laughs> I left the university, went to Chicago, and I met my wife in Chicago, and I started out in this little thing I call a career. If you call this, this next puppet, whatever you want to call it, is actually a giant Clorox bottle. The big one, the 64 ouncer, it's got a handle. The handle's been removed. It's concave. My arm, even though it's really big, fits inside the Clorox bottle. The top is shaved off. It's covered with terry cloth and furniture foam. Come here. Oh, come here. Oh, sorry. This is um, Romeo. Oh, sorry. The clothes he's wearing, they're from The Gap. <laughs> My children are writing a book called The Puppet Wears Gap. We wear Target. All right. <laughs> The wig is from a theater shop. The white part of his eyes, that's a ping pong ball. The eyebrows that go up and down. What's up, girl? All right, all right, all right. Mm-hmm, okay. You meet a beautiful woman, mm-hmm, in Apopka, Florida. What? Apopka, Florida. Whoa, career move. Okay, all right, all right. Next week, Winter Garden. Okay, all right, all right, all right. You meet a beautiful woman in Florida, what do you say? Girl, okay, I'm retired. Okay, all right, all right. Work for Alan. Come on, come on. Alan, all right. Take out the garbage. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. You're out of control, good crowd. It's an awesome crowd. Can we just do our thing? Mm-hmm. You are so obnoxious. Where are the pigs? The pigs are on the floor. What are you guys doing? We're staring at the man. <laughs> Dude, do not stare at the thought that you'll go psycho. Okay. I was real once. Okay, Romeo. <laughs> Can we just do our thing? All right, these are hardworking people. I wish I could work. Yeah? Well, you know, that's a great thing. You, everybody needs to work. That's one of the biggest things going on in the country now, put people back to work. Really? Yes, what would you like to do? I'd like to be a golf announcer. A golf announcer? Yeah. Awesome, why golf announcer? All they do is whisper. <laughs> they work two days a week and they do this. <laughs> they make no effort at all. Do you know why they whisper? Yes, they don't want to wake the people who are watching at home. Come on! Out. <laughs> I was trying to be serious. What job would you like? Chef. Chef. The cooking industry has exploded in the United States of America over the past decade. I can help you. Really? I think that's, a gr that's admirable. You want to be a chef? Talk about serving people. Awesome. Thank you. What's your favorite dish? Spaghetti, spaghetti, I can help you. Really? It's easy, get a pot, okay? You know how to do this? Yes, get a pot, okay? Fill it with spaghetti noodles, okay? Then fill it with water and boil the water. That's how do you know when they're done. Take one noodle out, throw it against the wall. If it sticks, it's ready. That's how I know if my underwear needs to be clean. Oh, come on, man, ow! Oh! I'm trying to be serious, Romeo. What job would you like? Uber driver. Uber driver, yeah. There's a lot that goes into being an Uber driver. Uh-uh, man, it's easy. Just tick people up, charge them, you're done. You gotta fill the car with gas, maintenance, take care of the wheels. What are you gonna do about your car? Not using my car, using your car. Come on, man, come on. Romeo and I do a lot of corporate events. Oh yeah, okay, I'd like to do that. What do you mean, corporate events? Yeah, we do a lot. I want to be a motivational speaker. 
a motivational speaker, inspiring people to be number one. Well, not really. No, that's what it is. Motivational pe- people, they inspire other human beings to reach for success and be number one. That's not my paradigm. Okay? I have a different paradigm. What's your paradigm? Let the other guy do all the work. You come in second, you're still doing pretty good. Come on, man, come on! (laughs) Motivational speaking is not about being number two. Success is not about being number two. The second letter in success is you. Okay, okay, you made your point. (laughs) Have you ever had a real job? Yes. Name one job you've had, Disney World. You worked at Disney World. I was in the It's a Small World After All show. I was, girl. I did this. (laughs) It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. $800 billion a year and they can't get the voice to sync with the mouth. Okay. That reminds me of the girl I broke up with. Nobody wants your personal life. This girl and I did a, it was like a game, right? We are supposed to sync kissing while we texted. Okay. <laughs> Her name was Amber. Okay, okay. <laughs> she left me. Come on, okay. Stop it. Stop it, Romeo. Romeo is so desperate to meet somebody, he went to Match.com. Don't do this. Romeo, it's an online dating service. Don't do this. Called Match.com. Don't do this. Did you or did you not go to Match.com? I did. And you filled in the form? Yes. You put your name, Romeo. What did you put for race? Mannequin American. (laughs) They got that joke. They're a good crowd. They didn't get that at Miami University. Okay, okay, oh no, 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 no. We we did a show at the U. The land that SATs to God. Okay, Romeo. We're in Miami, we did a show at the U. School song, okay, man, okay. Those are cheap shots. It's a great university. Slash Lauren Grill. Okay, you made your point. I would never say the things that come out of his mouth. (laughs) We're at Match.com, Romeo, Mannequin American. What did you put for occupation? Tyromaniac. Looking for a match. Oh, get out of (laughs) here. I got 100 emails from girls in Sarasota. All right. (laughs) The idea with online dating services is They try to match you with people that you have a lot in common with. Didn't work. What do you mean? I didn't like her. Because you're judgmental, you didn't like her. I didn't like her. Because you are judgmental. Because she had tattoos. So what? What did the tattoos say? Made in China. Okay. (laughs) I kept trying to turn her on, but she was like, okay, okay, all right. You're dead to me. Okay. (laughs) Doesn't work. Did you have any good experiences? I did have one. Well, now we're getting somewhere. That's what it's all about. People coming together, serving one another, helping one another out. That's awesome. So you had a good experience. She was awesome. Okay, that's great. You bonded, soulmates. You made a real connection. As if we'd we'd come out out of three assembly together. Really? Yeah. So where did you meet her? In a restaurant. Well, that's so sweet. I know. She walks in the door. I knew her right away. And what did you say? Hi, Mom. Oh, come on, Romeo! (laughs) I went out with a Christian girl. Do not do anything sacrilegious. She didn't like me. She didn't like you because you are sacrilegious. I told her I could tweet the Bible. You cannot tweet the Bible. I did it. Romeo, come on. The Bible's thousands of pages. So? A tweet is 140 characters. So? You can't take that and make it into that. I did it. That's impossible. It's a miracle. (laughs) 
tweet the Ten Commandments. One word, don't. <laughs> the book of Revelation, two words, uh-oh. <laughs> A story in the Bible, like what? Abraham marries his sister, rednecks of the Old Testament. Come on, <laughs> Stop laughing. You are just obnoxious. These are such nice people. It's a good audience. They're very, very nice. Who's this guy? Who? Gentleman sitting right here. Gentleman sitting, he's right back here in the one, two, three, four, fifth aisle. He's got a yellow shirt on. Yeah, his wife is looking at him wearing a yellow shirt. Good looking dude. Yep, I don't know his name. What's your name, sir? Yeah, you. Rick. Hey, Rick. Nice guy. Yep. Where are you from, Rick? Where do you live? In Longwood. In Longwood. Yep. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> Load up the pickup. Come on, come on. <laughs> We're going into town. Okay, man. <laughs> Bring a chicken, Ma. Okay. <laughs> we'll use it for entrance. The shush, man. Come on. He's here with his wife. Girl, all right. You could have done so much of that. All right, all right, all right. Gosh, man. Rick, leave him alone. What did you throw living? What's your job, Rick? What do you do? You manage the sleep laughs at Florida Hospital? What did you say, Rick? You sleep all day. You're a congressman. Come on, come on. He works at the Florida hospital. My gosh, how can you make fun of that? I just did. His wife is laughing. I thought, I don't care. <laughs> There's the, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Great service, helping people in a world that's gone nuts. There's somebody who's providing some stability to people. And what do you do? Make his wife laugh? No. <laughs> you made fun of him in front of all these people, man. You can't do that. Sorry, Rick. No, no, no. You're not getting away with that. What do you mean? You're not getting sorry, Rick. No, you apologize to him from your heart. What? You heard me. Apologize. Oh, for Pete's sake. Do it. Rick, I am so sorry. What did he say? He said, I forgive you. Dude, you have to. Okay. <laughs> but thanks for talking to me. I'm not real. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, we get the joke. Hello, Mr. Thought that. Okay. <laughs> I'm from Longwood. Okay. <laughs> I work at Florida Hospital. All right. Helping people sleep. Okay. <laughs> Do the pillows talk? Come on, man. <laughs> oh, Rick. Okay. Fluff me. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. No. I am sorry, man. I apologize. I don't know what gets into him. Those words would never come out of my mouth. I can tell you that right now. I would... You've got a great sense of humor. I've, I've done... Uh, I, I work in comedy clubs. I work in all kinds of venues. And one night at the midnight show out in Los Angeles, a guy in the audience got mad. Not at me, got mad at Romeo. One night I'm doing my act. There's a man there. I'm here, Romeo, my partner is here, and these two had an argument. <laughs> As if I wasn't there, he was yelling at Romeo. I'll meet you outside after the show. <laughs> and I'm just trying to keep my act going, so I have the puppet talk back to the guy. All right, I'll go with you, but you have to carry me, right? Things like that. And I'm, I'm flipping out, the guy freaks out, and he starts chanting, I'm gonna get the puppet, I'm gonna get the puppet. <laughs> I tell him, slow, easy, easy baby, you're going you're gonna to hurt yourself. And he says, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to him. <laughs> it was like living in a far side cartoon. <laughs> and he runs up on stage, like I'm not there. 
it was, it, was, it was so bizarre. He runs past me, runs over to Romeo, grabs his head. Ah, sorry. He takes the puppet head, decapitates, rips the head out of the Clorox bottle, takes the puppet head, just the head, and throws it. So Romeo's head, just the head, is flying through the air. Being good at what I do, I had the presence of mind to make the head go, But you've got a great sense of humor, Rick. Yeah, thank you. He's a good guy. Put up with a lot. That's awful nice of you to... We can work together in this world, see? These are... I, I, you know, if you're going to tell me you're a comedian and you're going to talk about so much about serving and sharing, I call these jokes to go. All right, free downloads. You can take them home. Next time you're watching the Home Shopping Network, call them up. Hello, Home Shopping Network. Can I help you? No, I'm just looking. And that's for you guys. <laughs> Jokes you can take home. Jokes to go, as it were. <laughs> Next time you order Domino's, make sure you're getting Domino's. Get 10 friends, order 10 Domino's pizzas, one at a time. Call Domino's, order one pizza, hang up. Call Domino's, order one pizza, hang up. Do that 10 times. Wait 30 minutes. There'll be 10 Domino's pizza delivery men lined up right outside your front door. Push the first one. If they're really Domino's, they'll all go down one after the other. You like that one? Here's one for you guys. Next time you uh, go bowling, take a small black marble to the bowling alley. You can only do this once. You got a marble, you go to the bowling alley. You take the marble and you put it in the machine where they wash bowling balls. Here's what's critical. Call the assistant manager over. Hey, you shrank my ball. You can only do that joke one time, but it's fun. For the Midwesterners, next time you go to the fair, county fair, state fair, carnival here, down here, go with somebody who's not here tonight. Before you go to the fair or the carnival, get a big, find a big, heavy two-pound bolt, something substantial. Put it in your pocket. Go to the fair or the carnival with somebody who's not here. You're going to get on the Ferris wheel. All right. You're going around and around. Stop doing your own jokes before I get to mine, okay? You're on the Ferris wheel, you're going around and around. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my gosh, I can see forever. I am so glad we did this. But we are way up here. I hope nothing happens. That's when, when you, you'll finally stop. After going around a few times, you'll stop at the top. And you'll be swinging a little bit. To let people on the bottom get on. That's when you take out the bolt, drop it. I wonder where this came from. You might have to set it up a little bit. Get the cart really shaking, you know, and say things, you know, kind of exaggerate. Boy, this does not feel well made at all. We must be 500 feet up here. We'd never live if something. Ah! I've done it twice to my wife. It worked both times, so. Oh, let's rock this joint a little more. I know there's some parents. Where are the parents? Parents make some noise. Let me see if I can find something better for this. Hang on. Oh, that's perfect. I'm a parent. Welcome back, you guys. A few years ago, I wrote an album of lullabies for my kids. An entire album of lullabies. 497 lullabies. Nobody's ever heard anything past the second track because they fall asleep, which is unfortunate because the third track is the heavy metal lullaby. Perfect for this audience. Little one, day is done. Monster! 
monster under the bed. He knows your name and he's hungry. Ah! You want some screaming? Ah! Now go to sleep. Little one. Oh boy, there's all kinds of great music out there. Let's do a little hip hop. This is a short hip hop track. I wrote it, all about the United States National Park System. This is a short hip hop track, all about the United States National Park System. This is a short hip hop track. I wrote it, all about the United States National Park System. Yo, Semity. That's it, that's the whole song. I like gospel music. There's all kinds of good gospel songs out there. You don't find any gospel pickup songs, though. Until tonight. Met her attitude social. She was talking to a whole bunch of men. She said, can any of you boys prove to me you're Christian? I said, excuse me, nice to meet you. I'll take first dibs. I couldn't help but notice, girl, you've got one of my ribs. Yes, you do, babe. Your hand is sweaty. I don't care. Rick, okay, okay. You know what I was doing? I was sleeping. Okay, okay. <laughs> Yo, you got to go with the flow, another joint with no point from T, and we're on the O O. We're both real fly, real nice guys. We wake up in the morning, though we don't know why. We work for Disney, don't you know what you dream? Think of us as the original Cinderella teen. He's radical, fanatical, we took a short sabbatical. A doctor takes an oath, it's at the critical. We flow so smooth like a steady can. Getting fat on the mic like honey glazed ham. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no, no, what are you doing there, no! Ow! You just sit there. You don't even move. Good. I had a really nice husband come up and help me out this evening. At the same time, Alan came up. Thank you, Alan. I know that somebody's wife out there or somebody's fiance was saying, boy, I sure hope I get to go on stage and help the comedian tonight. Now, I don't know where that wife is, so maybe someone could point her out to me. That wife was so desperate to come up. And that wife right there, she wants to come up. Well, come on up here, girl. Give her a round of applause. Give that nice lady a big round of applause. She's getting a standing ovation, too. Look at that. Come on up here, girl. Oh, let me help you up these steps. They don't have any insurance. Come on over here. Let's walk right around here. You are lovely. Thanks so much for coming up to help out. You're going to have a great time. I want you to stand right over there, if you will. What is your name? Latroy. Everybody say, hi, Latroy. Hi, You are so sweet to come up. You were nominated by somebody who is that. Thank you. OK. Um, <laughs> Who, who's the gentleman who nominated you to come up here? That's my baby daddy. My oh, that's him, huh? Oh, that's adorable baby daddy. Look at you, so cocky. Okay. <laughs> Latroy, what do you do for a job? What do you have for a job? I'm a teacher. Middle You're school. a middle school teacher. Oh, that's great. Those kids are just so adorable, so sweet, so awesome to work with, and just so friendly and nice. <laughs> Well, you know, this is going to be going back to school for you because you're going to work with Romeo. No way. Come here. I'm going to, no way. Yes. I want you to put your hand right inside there. Oh, stop it. 
oh, okay, all right. Put this hand out. He's going to put his legs across your arm like that. Let's try. Okay. This arm is going to come around here. All right. Okay. Uh, close. Uh, put your hand all the way up in there so you can put your thumb under here. Four fingers on top. Good. That's it. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Like most men, when his mouth is open, sound will come out. Okay. <laughs> Pay attention. I'm going to kind of give away the secrets here. To make the puppet, Romeo, say the word hello. That's a two-syllable word. So Latroy open and close his mouth really big two times. Hello. Good. Hello, Romeo. Hello. All right. That's perfect, okay? Latroy, whenever you open and close his mouth, I'm going to fit words in there like it's a bad Godzilla movie, okay? It's going to be great. Are you okay? I am okay, yes. All right. You're enjoying yourself? I like her hand. Okay, great. Uh <laughs> You're awesome. You're going to have so much fun. Yeah, I'm not talking to you. I know it's hard. Remember that he's Romeo and you're LaTroy, okay? So you can work with LaTroy? Yeah, I think I can. It's not gonna be an issue at all. Okay. <laughs> can you look at me? Yeah. <laughs> awesome, all right, so you see how this is gonna work? Perfect, um, there's a gentleman sitting right here with a yellow plaid shirt on, good looking gentleman right there. I need your help, come on up here. Give him a round of applause. Come on up here, my friend. Steps right over there. And I need one other um, gentleman to come up and help me out. There's a gentleman sitting right here. Um, it looks like he having a, has a baby there. So you know how to deal with puppets. Why don't you give the baby to the lady who did, does all the work, and you come up and help me. <laughs> give that man a big round of applause. Come on up here, big daddy. Oh, you thought you could just stand down there and watch? No, no, no. It's going to be a whole lot different than that. You, you look good, though. I like, I like L.L. Bean, page 48. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Dude, stay right in the middle here. All right, if you will. Perfect. All right. We'll try to take one small step that way. All right. Dude, stand right there next to her. What is your name? Paul. Everybody say, hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. Ramon. What? You're going to work with Paul. He's huge. I don't care. <laughs> Put your hand in there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh, that's great. You're into it already. Pay attention, lady. This is his future, all right? <laughs> it's your future. All right. Paul, take your hand like this, and you're going to put it underneath him like you're holding him up. Ramon, can you work with Paul? I, uh, okay. yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I can. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> Romy, are you still here? I am in love. Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> Stand right there, if you will. Oh, you're really getting into it, aren't you? You're going to have to buy one of these for him. It's on my website. You can purchase one. All right. Oh, you figured it out. Hold him right next to your head. Hold him right next. Look at that. Same hand. <laughs> How good is that? <laughs> you, you look just... <laughs> okay, all right. All right. And what is your name? Mike. Everybody say hi, Mike. I'm going to take your glasses. I, okay. I promise to return them. Mike, what do you do for a living? I am a uh, web developer. A web developer on the cutting edge of a global economy, my friend. That is awesome. Are you self-employed or you work for a company? I work for Orlando Health. You work for Orlando Health. <laughs> the night has come full circle again. People in service helping one another out. That's great. Is that what you wanted to, always wanted to do, to be a web developer? No. What did you want to do when you were a kid? I don't know. No, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> we're going to go back in time and help you out. I do work for Disney. This is right out of a, right out of one of the Disney automatons that goes on there. Right there. <laughs> Your head is huge. Hang on. Okay. You good? I am good. All right. <laughs> one step up, if you will. Perfect. All right. Romy, you still with us? I am still here. I am in love. Okay. All right. That's great. How are you doing? I'm in love, too. Okay. Uh, that's <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, great. And you? What do you want? Are you okay? I'm a web developer. I know that. <laughs> we are going to come together as a group here tonight. It's all about service. In a world that has absolutely gone insane, 
where divisiveness and hatred is everywhere. We can overcome all of that by working together. And tonight, in a racial, in a racially, in a speciesly, in a mouthfully, we are going to work together <laughs> as you've never seen. We're going to sing Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Romeo, do you know how to sing Row, Row? I do know how to sing that song. Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah. How about you? No, I do know the words. Okay, good. <laughs> You're okay working with Paul? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and how about you? What? Do you not know sing Row, Row, Row Your Boat? I wrote the song. You did? <laughs> you wrote Row, Row, Row Your Boat? I sure did. Really? I was at the hospital working you know, in front of the computer. It's so boring. Okay. <laughs> Dear God, get me out of here, please. Did you talk to anybody? I went to see Rick that he was asleep. Okay. <laughs> Wow. So I was you know, so bored and I started singing row, row, row your boat. Hey, I got a song. Okay, great. We're gonna sing it tonight unrehearsed. We're gonna nail it. Romeo. What? You're gonna sing row, row, row your boat. Okay, I can do that. I know how to sing that much. Uh. You know what I love the most? You're moving your mouth at the same time, the puppet. That's my favorite part. <laughs> Ramon, do you know how to sing Row, Row, Row Your Boat? Mm, I do know how to sing that song. I learned it a long time ago, and I still remember all the words. The only issue seems to be I can't stop talking. Okay, all right. Because <laughs> you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna sing, you're gonna sing gently down the stream. Mm -hmm, yes. Okay, good. And then you're going you're gonna to be our big finish. Narrowly, narrowly to the end. Right, all right. <laughs> We're this close to nailing it. Here we go. One, two, three. Mm. Row, row, row your... Okay, we got the point. <laughs> Gently down the street. Good, I've got a diaphragm. Try to remember that. <laughs> gnarly, 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 gnarly. Life is but a dream. Okay, great. <laughs> we are so close to having something magic. So close to a magical moment for you. Who knew? One, two, three. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the street. Good, here we go. Sing it. Narrowly, 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 narrowly life is but a dream. This is LaToya. Why did she do so well? She teaches this every single day. She's with this. She was awesome. Give her a round of applause. Thanks, LaToya. Let's go down these steps right over here. You were great. Thank you very much. I'm in love. Okay. Latoya. Ooh. Sorry. Have you ever worked with a puppet before? Maybe. Uh, well, you were great. This is Paul, everybody. Give him a big round of applause. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Great job, man. Stand right there, if you will, Mike. Thank you so much. Yeah, I know. It was fun. Yeah, it was. Thank you so much. Um, say thanks to them. I don't want to go. No, I know you don't want to go. But it's time to go. No, I, I want to stay. No, no, no. I, I know you do, but... <laughs> it's a nice show now. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, you got to do something. Oh, I got skills. What? Now, you heard me. You've got skills? Oh, yeah. Well, I know you said you, you're a web developer. That's a skill. No, I'm talking major skills, mad skills. Are these skills, is that your wife you're sitting with? Oh, yeah. Does she know about these skills? There's a lot of things about me she doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Karate. Karate? Oh, yeah. Really? Watch this. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh.
Whoa. That was awesome. Where do you use that? At the hospital. At the hospital? <laughs> really? What do you mean? Well, I go to Rick's place. They're all asleep. I'm like, wake up. <laughs> so they're asleep. What do you do? I do this. Oh, yeah. That wakes them up. I'll bet it does. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much. I got more. No, no, no. I think that's enough. No, no, no. I got more. Okay. What else do you do? I sing and dance. You sing and dance. Oh, yeah, let me get ready. Okay. Watch this. We're watching. Super califragilistic, delicious. even though the sound of it. I'm just getting into it. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I want something more hardcore. Go ahead, do, do your hardcore thing. Boon chuckle, look a look a boon chuckle, look a look a boon chuckle. <laughs> Has your wife ever seen that? There's a lot of things about me she hasn't seen. Okay. No, I'm gonna twerk. No, you're not. <laughs> Hang on, don't forget your glasses. Yeah, right. This is Mike, everybody. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. Oh, that was really awesome, Mike. You missed your calling. I'll open for you next week at Sleepy's Comedy Club. <laughs> well, you folks have been just a, a joy to work for. I've got to go here. Um, I've got a flight out of Opopka International. <laughs> no. Here. Paul. Oh, shush. Paul, oh, come in here. Okay. <laughs> I love you, Paul. Okay. <laughs> Paco, I stared at him the whole show. Okay. <laughs> what did you learn tonight, Paco? I learned a lot, senor. Oh, that's good. Because I know that you said the Jewish people are your favorite. See, si. What about Christians? They're weird. <laughs> like, what do we do? Sing. We love to sing. Pray. Praying is a big part. And then, and then what? You start to cast out demons. And you know where they go. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Ow, senor, back in the bag. Romeo, no, come here. Latoya, shush. <laughs> Latoya, shush. Teach me, girl. Come on. <laughs> Latoya, I love you. Ow, sorry. This is mean, man. Shush. You are so mean. Here. Ow, this is puppet abuse. Shush. It's so mean. I have more trouble with this traveling internationally. Puppets in a bag like this at customs. In my world, Transportation Security Association, TSA. In my world, that's Taylor searched aggressively. <laughs> coming into Newark Liberty International Airport a couple summers ago, my bag, I'm coming in from London, my bag goes into the x-ray machine at Newark and stops in the machine for a long time. The head guy comes out, excuse me, sir, we need to look in this bag. It's no problem, it's open. Sir, before I open this bag, I need to ask you, is there anything in here that I should know about? <laughs> no, you should open it up and see what happens. <laughs> so when he opened the bag, I did this. Hey, how you doing? But it was Jersey, so the guy goes, you know, I'm not doing bad, little man. How you doing in there? <laughs> that cannot be comfortable. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, man. I so appreciate you guys coming out to the program tonight. I know we're in a popka, and you had a lot of other entertainment opportunities. <laughs> Oh, 
friends and new friends and good friends. So nice to work for you. Everybody's welcome. Come on in, sit down and watch what we do. Cause we're all in this together. Might as well share some laughs. Might as well have a good time with a little bit of time that we have. If you don't mind, join me in thanking all these people who helped me out here this evening. Give Alan a big round of applause. He took the garbage out earlier. Sleeping is one of my favorite things to do in this whole world. And tonight we have a gentleman here who knows all about it. He works over at Florida Hospital with the people who sleep a lot. Give Rick a big round of applause. And that goes for Mike. Give him a round of applause. Latoya, give her a big round. Thanks, Troy. Paul, give them all a big round of applause. I don't want to be famous. I'm no celebrity. I play at places just like this where I can see you and you can see me. Listen, I don't know what it's worth. Every night I see the greatest show on earth when the audience performs for me. Some people that work here never get any recognition. They do great work. And tonight they made me sound somewhat professional, which is very rare. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't mind, join me in thanking Dave and Alex right back there. Give them a big round of applause. We came in as strangers. Now we're all good friends. Makes me wish a gig like this would never, 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 never end. And I've seen something you can't see greatest show that could ever be when the audience performs for me. Did you guys have a good time in here tonight? And now it's over, nothing left to say. The only things we keep in this world are the things we give away. And I've seen something you can't see The greatest show that could ever be When the audience performs for me Oh, one more time, give me those hands, put them together, come on! going home. Thank you. We need Loverboy to come back out here. Ryan! Keep it going one more time for Taylor Nathan. <laughs>